Okay guys, welcome back to the vlog. Me and Cohen are back in Kina, Peru. Uh, we're down here again because we are trying for a massive snapper. We're trying for that elusive 30 pound snapper. Uh, the biggest one I've caught is 24.98 pounds, just under 25. And the biggest Cohen has caught, what was yours Coey? Uh, 21.4. 21.4. So we're going to try and beat that re record and get a big snapper. Uh, this vlog's going to be a little bit different. I've had heaps of people asking me uh, how we catch a snapper and what we do. So this one we're going to do a bit more of a tutorial on how we rig up our black magic rigs, or the flasher rigs, also our stray lines, and our burley, how we set the burley, what burley we use, how we bait them, how we rig our hooks, where we cast them, and what distance, sinkers and all that. So this is going to be more of a tutorial vlog. So hopefully some of you guys will, uh... oh that was terrible cast, we got that on camera. Um, so hopefully we'll do a bit of a video that will help some of you or maybe all of you catch some snapper or some big snapper, that'd be pretty cool. At the moment we are facing the right direction with the tide, it's still a little bit early so we're not going to put any burley out just yet, but we'll do some rigging up, uh, showing you how we tie our lines, rig them, bake them, everything. So let's get into that. Okay, so one rod I'm using is a Stella 4000. I'm running 30 pound braid on this purely for the fact that in Kinapuru here, the snapper run you into the lines, and it's happened a few times. So I'm running a Stella 4000 with a new Shimano Diluna rod with 30 pound 832 braid. So that's an H strand braid. The rig I'm going to use on this is a Black Magic 8 bar O. Why I like them is they are a massive 8 bar O recurve hook. And also, like I said in past vlogs, they have high UV content. So fish see UV or UV light. So I like the Black Magic rigs. So they come already pre-rigged with a swivel on top. And with the line, what I do is a straight uni knot. But with the uni knot, I'll double up the braid and do a uni knot with double the braid. So uni knot around, make a big loop. I'll probably do a video on a better tutorial on how to do the uni knot. Okay guys, so double up your braid, double it over, do a big loop, feed that through the eye, come back up, go straight over the top like a figure four, then you're gonna come around with that loop four to five times. Doesn't matter if you do more, it'll only make it stronger. Pull down, then slide it down. If you're using mono, you definitely want to lube it up because it'll uh, it'll burn it and make a weaker, uh, make it weak. Then chop off all the tag ends, and there you have it. Bit of a tag end there. We'll get rid of that. Same thing on the sinker. So round, loop over both lines, then go through the hole two, three times. Pull it up tight, you can loop all that. It'll slide down, pull it tight, chop off the tag in, then we're ready to go. So get your flasher out. At least it didn't make that look awkward. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, you, oh, I thought you were in again, dude. It's just your rod, Sid. <laughs> right, two pillies. That one's not a bad size pilly, so I might stick them on hole. This guy's a bit smaller. So again, chop them on the angle. Black Magic Super Lumo straight through the top of the head. The whole pilly on top of the head and that's them but at the moment we're going to just show you the basics do that up nice and tight pull on that and then you've got basically three tag ends Shimano Abraid cutters these things 
are the best split ring ones on the market. They've been pretty good actually. Next thing is just undo it. Uh, sinkers too. Uh, for Tasman Bay and down here I like to use, uh, or we like to use, 3 ounce. So it seems quite big but what you can do is cast it quite away, pull in the tension and have it sitting nice off, up off the bottom. So same thing there, 3 ounce sinker on the bottom. Uni knot to put that on. Two, three, you don't have to worry about too much, doesn't matter if you lose the sinker. Chop off the tag ends, the tag ends are terrible, they get caught on weed and that. And then that is how I'll rig it. And I don't even run uh, leaders anymore, like a shock leader, because the knots seem to get snagged in your eyes when you're casting. So, straight braid to the trace. And it seems to have worked, we've caught some good snapper on them, with some boobers on the snapper. Next thing is two pillies, like I said before, chop on an angle, I like a bit more guts there, two of them like so, and then straight down through the head, next one straight down through the head, and that'll hold on nice and tight, you've got heaps of hook exposed, you've got a bit of flash there, the snapper will come up and woof that down, so that is basically how we set up the flasher rig or black magic flasher rigs. Generally we'll, I'll use an 8 bar row and then the other rig will be a 4 bar row. But either way it seems to work real good. Uh, next we'll do a straight line. You got a straight line set? Hmm? You got a straight line set? Yeah. Cool. The second set I'm using is a Shimano 4000 Thunnus bait runner. And this is going to be my stray line set, and I've got this on the new Akuma Tournament Concept Series rod. Uh, it's a 6 to 10 kilo rod, and the braid I'm using is 30 pound, and it's the new Black Magic braid. So it's a bit of a hybrid set of all suppliers, but Cohen is hooked back up. He actually just dropped that fish, I think we filmed it too. You in already? <laughs> oh shit. Oh don't, he's going. Go stop him! Oh no, you lost them already. <laughs> Straight away. Dude! Are you kidding me? I told you. No. That's that's bit real bad. That's braid too, you braid. That's real bad. Funny story. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Hohen, uh, Hohen? Uh, Hohen, yes, hello. Hohen has just, uh, Cohen has just hooked up and he just dropped our first fish. Snappy? There's a no bit... idea. Yeah. No idea, but we've just lost a good fish. That's pretty good early on. Oh, no, he dropped it. Coming at the boat? No. No, he dropped it. So it's a pretty good start, actually. We're trying to do some rigging up, but we've had a couple of couple of good runs. Starfish. Okay, false alarm starfish. Okay, so for this rig, I've got a... We made up a stray line rig. I'm using two DX six bar row hooks. And I have put them on with a small bead and a one ounce sinker. The leaders are quite small because I can cast a better distance with them. So I've got two DX hooks there and I'm running Black Magic 60 pound leader. A bit heavier down here in Kina Peru because these snapper are just taking us into the farms. Right, so the same thing. No, false alarm. Uh, same thing, I'll just tie this directly onto the braid with a doubled over. Um, no, you're up. I know, we're in. Oh, it's going around. Oh. Here it goes, look out. It's going. It's going. Oh, she's going straight to the farm. Hold it. Oh. oh, it's going for the anchor. Oh, your line's right there. Right. Oh, look at how it's going to go up. Go up, go up. Go up. Look out, look out. Oh. <laughs> right, Mark's chased it up the front. Narrowly avoiding the anchor. This is a snapper, dude. Good one. Good 
good set. Oh, coming out of the boat. You got all your lines in, eh? Yeah, mate. This might be a fish to start with, people. Bird on them, that's for sure. Oh. 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 Serious. What is going on, dude? Snapper two uh, busted off. Unsure what to say about that. Pretty gutted. It's busted. Um, speechless, actually. Uh, I mean, the drag I've got. Look at the drag on it, Co. Look at the drag I'm running. Seven, maybe seven kilo drag. So I locked up, but it's just too much. But. That was a really good fish. Really gutted about that. So me and Colin have had a, a small debate behind the camera on uh, this being a bit of a nightmare for losing fish. But we're going to keep going. If, uh, if we keep losing them, we're going to drop in a bit shallower because they're just taking us straight to the lines. So I've just set up the thunnus. Uh, with the Black Magic DX, hook, DX hooks, and I'm going to run a whole pilly. I'm pretty bit emotional at the moment. That was a really good fish. So I'm just going to cast this out the back. Basically as far as I can. And I'll set the bait runner. Because they're non-recurve hooks, I won't set the bait runner on heavy. So the fish can run with the line. I'll strike it. And hopefully be in. But pretty awesome that we've got two fish on so far. They're good fish. That one took me up the front of the boat. Shallow water snapper. It's got weight on it. Oh! The bottom. Oh, was it? Bottom. Gutted. Attack to the bottom. Round two, Black Magic new Super Lumo 8 bar row snapper snatches. Same thing, a 3 bar row hooker sinker. And we'll see if we can't land one of these snapper. Oh, Cohen's in. Cohen's in. Cohen's in. Go, Boise. What do you want me to do? You're going to have to go up the boat up front, aren't you? You get around that? You're right. You're in, under it? You're good? Lost him? You feel the drag on this? I can imagine. Like this? Wow. Yeah. Holy smoke. Jesus, dude, there's some bloody good, some good snapper here. Holy crap. Fuck me. Seriously? The, the thing is, what tells them from being a, a shark to a snapper, shark's not going to run for the line. They're not that bloody smart. <laughs> Are they? Nah. Are they no way. There? Jesus. That's a bloody... It's a 
the walk back to the front of shame. Over it. Yeah. I told you. I told him we need to move. No, 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 we'll stay here. Look what just happened. That was his last try. We're moving now, aren't we? Is it on? Yeah. That was a promise. Is it gonna, do you think it's going to be any better? This is, act, this is pretty action packed. Whew. We haven't even got any burly in the water yet. That's three fish we've dropped already. Still debatable whether they're sharks or snapper. Um, I don't know about the sharks that are that aggressive, really. And that sort of speed into the same spot every time. Yeah, I seem to just know. I don't know. Okay, well. Yeah, it's just sort of getting very confusing now. Because <laughs> we can cast them out here anyway. <laughs> yeah, at least we'll get line before they start going. Yeah, they'll start pulling on it before the hub. It's going to sit in here a bit more. I think it's a great time to hold it out. Yeah. Anyway, I've got the Stella. I'm going to put on the new Super Lumo 3 ounce uh, Puka Sinker. Half a pilly on each, like I showed you before, and we'll give that another go. Uh, same as Cohen's, my uh, drag is about seven or eight kilo, but the pound line is only 30 pounds, so it's not working well for us, but good start. Or it just snaggle pushed. Yeah. Alright, snag. Here, pull that. Really? Okay guys, so I'm going to cast this out as well. Same as a stray line, just uh, cast it out as far as you can. Get away from the shadow of the boat, the noise of the boat, out where your burly trail is hitting the bottom of the water. So cast it right out. We've got, I use these holders here, three-way holder. They sit perfectly in the back and they sit in your rods parallel to the water. And there's a fish hitting this now. Look at this. Something's having to go at that one. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Ah, uh, so yeah, where was I? Oh, your flasher rigs, yep. Cast them as far as you can out the back. Mm -hmm. He wants us. Are we casting out though? Yeah, I thought we were moving. Oh, no, 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 no,
Pilchards is baked primarily, and we are going to run the same burley. So we're running a pilchard burley. And we're in pretty shallow water, so we're going to run this uh, at the surface. Also because uh, we've been losing fish, haven't we, Colin? No, too many. And we don't want to uh, snag around the burley pot. Right, since we last uh, spoke to you, we've currently dropped another two good fish, busted us off. Uh, it's quite a foul bottom around here. We pulled up some horse muscles before, so I think they're just running us along the bottom into the horse muscles. But it's been a pretty good start to the night. We've, it's been pretty action-packed. Tide's not moving at all. We're wind against tide now. We're still trying to make a, a solid effort at it casting out but we're swinging so much even though there's not much wind tide's heading that way wind's going in that way and we're just swinging but we'll carry on at least it's nice it's a good place to come out for a fish you can fish all night if you're committed to it we just had some delicious chips and colin's re-rigging because he just dropped another fish so we are down how many fish you've lost colin four and i've lost three have you lost four? Oh god. Right, we've got to catch one of these things. We've seriously got to up our game. Cohen has just dropped another one fish. Where's your other line? I've only got one line out. Hey? It's grinding on something. But after last week, they fight pretty well like snapper. We definitely dropped a snapper or two tonight, um, especially with the head nods. Uh, but we're just now claiming them all as sharks, and then we don't feel as bad losing them. But we're actually pretty charging, we're going to carry on fishing. The tide and wind are now just lined up and it is, yeah, nearly 10 o'clock at night and it's finally decided, the tide's decided to come in. So there's a bit of action now, we're sitting right, so... I want to catch a fish, actually. Did you? Just lost another fish. Coming to the boat. Got the drag pretty high too. I know. Oh, gone. Shark. Go to the A. Morning people, it is currently 5.30am, Cohen went to sleep quite early last night a little bit tired. Uh, I managed to stay up pretty much all night with a few naps, fishing. We did a heap of um, heap of big circles, the wind and tide changed during the night so it made it quite hard. Got a nice little panny snapper this morning, probably around 26 centimetres. He's gone back to get to 30 pound and we are currently sitting wind and tide in the same way and we are sitting in a very good position. And we're going to fish the morning till about 8am and then head on. The 
tutorials didn't work out too well because the action last night was pretty hot. Uh, we managed to drop another three fish overnight. But it's a pretty nice morning here today. We'll carry on and hopefully have some 30 pound snapper action for you. Right guys, it's currently 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we managed to get one small snapper overnight, a little panty. But it's gonna be a bit of a short vlog, uh, a bit of a tutorial there. So hopefully you'll pick up on a couple of things that we do to catch snapper anyway. Not that we've caught any snapper this trip. That's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's classic. But there's a couple of uh, tricks there that we use. We've dropped so many fish last night, it's kinda, uh, disheartening so we're going to cut a track nice and early 7am and uh, we'll see you next time